Back to that big day on Capitol Hill. Now the bill has to pass the House before making it to the president's desk. The Senate passed a massive spending bill, one of the president's top legislative agendas. Debate went on all night long. This is Troy Campbell is live in the newsroom with more on what this bill includes and reaction from our Florida lawmakers. Troy. Yeah, Eric. Lawmakers, they finished the vote after hours of negotiations yesterday. Democrats say the funding package will help lower both electricity costs costs and the price people pay for prescription drugs. And the bill, as amended, is passed. <laughs> Democrats on Capitol Hill passing what they've named the Inflation Reduction Act. The vote passed along party lines with Vice President Kamala Harris casting the tie-breaking vote. Democrats say the tax increase for companies who generate $1 billion a year or more will inject billions of dollars into funding for Americans to become less fossil fuel dependent. Americans will also be able to deduct up to 30% of their total energy efficient or solar upgrades. Representative Val Demings releasing a statement saying, experts and economists say the Inflation Reduction Act will save Florida households thousands of dollars. This bill will reduce the cost of prescription drugs, make health insurance more affordable, cap out-of-pocket costs, reduce your energy bill, reduce the federal deficit, and bring down inflation. Senator Marco Rubio saying he strongly disagrees. This bill has nothing to do with what real people in the real world, world are worried about every single day. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the bill will lower the cost of prescription drugs for Medicaid, allowing the federal government to negotiate prices for several medications. Senator Rick Scott says the bill will not provide relief for aging seniors struggling with rising costs. This bill actually ought to be called the War on um, Seniors Act. I mean, this is a war on Medicare. You look at this. This is a $280 billion cut in Medicare. So what's going to happen is Medicare is going to get cut and there's going to be seniors that don't get life-saving drugs. Representative Demings also says the plan allows for Americans to reduce fossil fuel dependency by 40 percent over the next seven years. Live in the newsroom, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6, Eric.